Uh, I'm here with Chris. Chris Watton. Okay, and what did we do last weekend? Uh, I got first place, went 9-0 at Seattle Regionals. Um, I only played two game threes, I 2 would seven of my opponents. Okay, pretty impressive. Yeah. And you're not playing two Dracos? No, I am playing 60 card garbage. Okay, let's see what, see what you got. See okay, so first off, four hand traps. Uh, this was actually useless. Um, it, my only regret is these should have been dragon shrines. Okay. Um, then... Even when the opponent like didn't open uh, yeah. the mono and you wanted to hit the demise? Yeah. They just didn't really come up? No, nice. it really didn't. And then we play four clowns. Okay. Um, sometimes I kind of want to play three of this, but four is fine. Makes sense. And three Mizukis, one uni. I did actually play an English one. This one just looks nicer. Yeah. Uh, one and three of this, and uh, there was no need. I never found a situation that I regretted not having two of these. Yeah. Um, I actually only played one initially because I couldn't find my second English one. But did you ever think about playing Gozuki since you're playing like the full engine? No, Gozuki sucks. <laughs> like that card sucks to draw. Yeah. It doesn't just put itself on board. Uh, and then I did play the plants, and uh, in addition to them, I played two of these. Okay. Or one of each of these. Um, so I know Bulbs, do, do you play Nat Beast? I do not play Nat Beast. So this is just to make links. Um, okay. The idea of this deck compared to like other people that play this deck is that if I draw bad, I want to be able to still make Saryusha to fix my brick hand. So it's trying to make it so it doesn't matter if I draw Garnet. Okay. And Predator Plants, three, and then three Lone Fires. Okay. That's just yeah. standard for those. Yeah, you have to do that ratio. Um, and then I played four Light Swarms. I played two Wolf and two Raiden. Uh, my nice, really, really expensive misprints. Um, we, gotta, we gotta get that on camera. The Prismatic Rares. Uh, if anyone actually has a, another one of either of these, uh, find me on Facebook and name your price because I will pay several hundred dollars each. Yeah, that's pretty yes. awesome. That's crazy. Uh, I'm sure there's people that don't even know this exists. Yeah, they, they are real. <laughs> they're not. They're yeah. not altars. No, there's they're videos real. of them being pulled out of packs. Yep. Uh, three fairy tale snow. That's standard. Yep. And then I'll save that for last. The one giant rex is just so prismatic. Um, oh, someone offered me seven hundred dollars for that. I said no. That's uh, one goblin berg, <laughs> one thousand blades, one the card that shows up in like every hand. Yep. Uh, and then the best card in the deck, which is why I wish I played uh, Shrines, is Destrudo. This won me five games, at least. Um, because so other than Black Rose, what targets do um, you have? Or is it just for the extra body on board to make so easy? It's, you, it's for anything, like, I can make Black Rose with it, which is the generally what happened. Yeah. Like, they use all their, like, destruction and stuff, and then I still make Black Rose. Yeah. Or yeah, I target... Usually Black rose -ing like Draco player's game, right? Yeah, or I can target like a Unizombie or a plant and then summon this and it's level four and then makes the third Omega really easy. Okay. Uh, and then spell cards, three charge of the Light Brigade. Uh, yeah. They don't match, one of them's Italian. <laughs> no one cares, they're secret first. Yeah, three Brilliant Fusion. Yep. Uh, I played all three Forbidden Chalice. How which, was that card? Uh, I, I played it too, but in the side. Yeah, this card's insane, like this card, it's nice to be able to have said something if I go first and I don't open the thir three Omega combo. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this, uh, and then it makes it so if you're not playing Pen FDK and they go first, it's really easy to break the board if you can stop, if you can negate one of their negators. Because yeah. they'll usually stop like Brilliant Fusion or Solitaire or a plant if you open it. And then if you chain this, uh, it forces them to use all their negates in the chain or just lose. Uh, then I played all three left arm offerings because uh, yeah. this never got ashed. Uh, every time I drew this, uh, I for if they had Ash Blossom, they used it on something else before I played this. Were you finding yourself going for Grass or Soul Charge more? Um, because when I play the deck, like obviously Grass is amazing, but I yeah, like I more commonly search the Soul Charge because it's guaranteed. Yeah, Soul Charge came up a lot. Uh, I'd say probably 50-50 on them. 50-50, All right. Yeah, uh, I played all three Desires because it says Pot Agreed. Uh, it's you know, it says draw two, so there's no reason to not play this. I feel like your deck, you're more concerned about just kind of spamming the board. Yeah, not necessarily the, doing your combo. The other thing is, um, like, if I banish something face down, like if I banish a snow and I haven't seen one, I'll just make an Omega and then I'll add it to the grave on my standby. Yeah. Or my opponent's standby. Yeah. Uh, I played two common gold Sark because I don't have price card ones yet. Um, one E-Telly because my ulti's not here yet. And this, um, this is only for Ghost Ogre. But this still puts another monster on board, which can make Saryusha. Uh, Ghost Rigger being a three-star tuner makes Black Rose. Uh, so it solves a lot of bad hands. So just, you just like all the extender? 
Yeah, I like. That it gives you. I like. Did you ever like eat telly uh, ogre on their opponent's turn to like? Stop I've, a yeah, I, I sat on it. I'll just do it like at the start of the turn and just sit on it, and then it's another thing they have to play around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of my spell cards, like all, I want all my spell cards to be able to do something at any given time, and being able to just put more monsters on the board makes it so bad hands become playable. Uh, I played one one for one for the exact same reason. Monster reborn, soul charge, foolish burial, and grass. For sure. How, so, considering you only played four hand traps, how many dice rolls did you win? Uh, I won five dice rolls. It's the first time I have gone positive in dice rolls in, I think, four or five years in an event. Okay. Because, obviously, like, if you're winning every dice roll, then this deck would yeah. be insane. Two of my opponents oh. made me go first uh, game one, and they quickly changed their mind game two. But <laughs> it, Omega three yeah, times. and one of them was playing Invoke, which is kind of funny because that deck has to go second. And oh, yeah, uh, nice. I opened Grass and I ended on like three Omegas and uh, it might have been three Omegas and it Link. I don't remember which one it was. It might have been uh, Curious. Okay, extra deck. Yeah, extra deck. Let's see. Link monsters. Doing. One Mrs. Radiant. One Curious. Again, I played an English one. I just like the secret better. Yeah. Uh, one Boral Load and one Sir Yusha. This card is dumb. Uh, this card fixes everything. Like, if you open bad, it fixes all the problems. And uh, it's just better. In this deck, um, I played this instead of the Dino build. Because you weren't playing uh, Call of the Grave? Uh, I side decked it. Did you ever get a oh, okay. Did you ever get Ashed on your Sir Yusha play? No. No? Uh, Ash Blossom, if it, they open it, it forces. Right, You're going to force it out before you make that play? What? You can't activate Cult from the Grave and Damage Step. A mid mid tournament rule. Yeah, I'm I'm the judge for this local. You cannot activate in Damage Step. Okay. Uh, extra deck. Awesome keyboard warriors. Like yes, you can. Yeah. Uh, one Seraphonite. Yeah. Uh, and then Synchros, Black Rose, Nameless Michael. Uh, and then this is also a misprint, but. Marvel, dude. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then I've actually never seen that. Three Omegas. Um, yeah, I play three. Most people play two, and this say two is enough. But if you summon all three of these, they usually will concede. Uh, Penta can still kind of play, but if you have Snow in Yard... Uh, if you're in it, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a losing game. Uh, one of my only game three... Uh, one of two game threes I played was against Manov, who's like the best player in the area anyway. But yeah, I made... I made these game one, and then I just made this after, just to keep banishing his floating stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then extra deck, I played one Minerva, uh, one Amic Saber Invoker. Yo, and this is the real one, too. Yeah, it's, that's the Ultra. Did you play this? Yeah, I played that. Uh, actually, not in double sleeve, because they made me not double sleeve this one. That's wild. Uh, one of his Dweller. Uh, I didn't play Tornado Dragon. Uh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of 60 card players and like dino players in our area, and I never found myself needing Tornado Dragon because uh, if I'm going first and I know what they're playing, I'm just gonna make this against one of those two decks. So if they go first and open Rivalry, what do you do? <laughs> do you just kind of scoop? Um, usually I just try to like grind with uh, a grave setup, uh, or like I'll normal summon Unit Zombie and then send uh, Sure New Spirit Master, oh, which is my way to okay. out Floodgates. Like as long as it's not yeah. Snow, I won even if they open Floodgates. All right. And then I played the Utopia package, and the reason I played this is because my last regionals, uh, I got two draws, so I didn't top. And having this sort of solved all my problems, and this still came up really well, 5,000 being able to beat over anything. Yeah. Did you ever, like, kind of wish you played, like, a Trish or a Navis? No. Because you're playing the bold? No. Oh. Uh, I guess your line of play, you're already thinking you're like, yeah, like, not making it. Trishula so. maybe would have been cool in a few times, being able to banish the fourth card. Yeah. But that's not a card that I play. Okay, so side, deck. side deck. Last thing. Uh, three called by the Grave. This is, again, uh, for the mirror match mainly, and if I go yeah. second against something, it's really nice. Uh, I play two Twin Twister. Uh, it's usually if I go second against Draco. Uh, yeah. I play two of this. This card's really funny. Like, I love this card, and it's nice to be able to play Dude, it again. I was trying to get those for the tournament, and literally no one had them. That's yeah. Um, like, not a single vendor, no one around the floor had them. Yeah, one, one true Draco guy, uh, he set three, uh, summoned Masterpiece, passed, and he activated to stand my face anti-spell, and I twin twister, and I hit anti-spell, and I hit iron wall. Wow. Uh, so I won that game. And then another one of the true Draco players, he went first. He opened, like, four back row. He opened, like, card of demise. But his only floodgate that actually stopped me uh, was Iron Wall, and I opened this, and I just like sent it, Kaiju to his masterpiece, and then made Beals. Okay, so Beals is in the side. I'm yeah, Beals Beals is a side deck. I so I did side one of that. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, and then the last cards, uh, two dimension barrier. This is going to be something else. I changed this last minute. Um, it was only really good in the one matchup. Uh, I probably would have just kept this as what it was before, which is actually Light Force Sword, because then I can banish my opponent's entire hand. What is it? Light Force Sword. Light Force Sword. It banishes a card for four standby phases face down from my opponent's hand, so I make three Omegas and then I do that and they start with one card. Huh. And I've tested it a lot, it's really good. I just decided to do this as a safe option because I knew uh, some of the better players were playing this. Uh, we're playing Pendulum, and yeah. I wanted to have something against the Invoke matchup. Uh, I played two Kaijus. Um, like, just the ones that you want to make curious off of, right, if you get the other one? Well, this is um, because I can make Mrs. Radiant and add this from Grave, so this outs it. And then um, this was actually in case I got paired against World Chalice, because they make Gamma Seal. So I wanted my other Kaiju to be something that I can just special summon and actually just kill the Gamma Seal. Okay. So that was the reason for this. And then the last card, the best card in the side deck, was three Magical Spring. Uh, I side this in against. Right now, right? Yeah, I side this against Draco and I side this against Pendulum. Uh, if I'm going first and I set this against Draco and I set cards in the activate diagram, I chain this, I draw one, but that's fine. Did and, you um, ever like snow it off to get the yeah, additional yeah, last I, draw? I did this against one of the Draco players and I snowed this in my Brilliant Fusion and I drew three cards. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, but this, if they activate Diagram, this actually protects their set cards too, so they can't destroy it, so they have to resolve Diagram with what's in their hand. And against That's Pendulum, pretty good. I, I mean, honestly, it's just like an engine card at this point. It's like playing Graceful Charity in the deck against any deck that has continuous spells and traps. Yeah. All right. um, anything you change? Um, the only thing I changed is I dropped Ash Blossom for two Dragon Shrines because Ash Blossom never came up. It was never a thing. Other than that, everything's fine. Uh, I've got a different build that plays an equipped spell that I might play later. But no, deck worked fine. All right, thank you. Appreciate the deck yep. profile.